but just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. So I'm going to start with a little quick refresher here, please, um, to hear, but also throughout uh, today, if, if I'm saying something, Rich is saying something, feel free to just unmute and, and ask. Um, uh, since I'm home right now, it's a little hard on my laptop to uh, see see the chat when I'm talking or we're talking. So by all means, please feel free to unmute and just uh, interrupt as it were. Okay, cool. So uh, what we're doing here. So this was, um, we, we first wrote this thing, or I think we first heard about this about two and a half years ago. We wrote it about two years ago. It took forever to get the sort of grant reviewed and everything. Long story short, um, this is, we are, um, we have some funding from the state of California to try to help with improved mitigation broadly writ. What we took uh, that, that um, charge upon was to look specifically at uh, guidance for, or, or, or well-articulated guidance for um, how we would go about doing out-of-kind mitigation across the California coastal zone broadly writ. And um, many of us have been associated with these groups uh, over the years and um, all been cool attempts, all been useful efforts have all helped move us forward. But usually we're very time constrained, usually we're very resource constrained, that kind of stuff. Um, the idea here was to uh, come up and also, as we know, um, our in-kind uh, mitigation, there's been a lot of, of thinking about, there's been, there, there's, you know, legal guidance, policy guidance, et cetera out of kind, not so much. And so we have a more haphazard approach. So the idea with our group here is to provide um, some more robust um, conceptual underpinnings and uh, specifically produce some guidance that could um, be used if, if uh, we're not creating policy here necessarily, but, but could be hopefully used by our agency colleagues um, as they are looking at candidate um, compensatory mitigation uh, sites where they um, can't do in-kind on-site or, or nearby uh, efforts. So the thing we've done here is we've created uh, these groups. We, we, we launched formally um, a few months ago, but the idea is um, we're doing this in a series of phases. And the phase that we're in right now is phase one. And this is really the conceptual underpinning. So, so what should be the um, ideas? What should be the themes? What should be the general approach? to helping us understand how to do out of kind in a consistent manner and in a way that's that doesn't sacrifice uh, uh, significant um, components of sustainability, resilience, et cetera, uh, biodiversity, et cetera. So, um, so where we are now, we're in summer of, of 23. Theoretically, we were, um, we originally asked you guys to give us a, a draft of, of your, of the stuff you're working on um, at the start of August, things are, things are pushing back a bit, but that's okay. But generally this, this month, we're looking to see some of the drafts of stuff. The idea is we'd revise that in September and um, come up with um, another uh, sort of pull together meeting, et cetera. The general approach we're taking to our project is to have face-to-face -face meetings at the start of a given phase and then, uh, and then, Zoom and virtual, all that kind of good stuff, uh, uh, you know, with people's schedules and everything. And then at the end of the phase or the conclusion of the phase, we would come together again for another face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, in between, um, we have um, uh, support for um, doing some of the deeper dives that we don't always have time for when we come together uh, for, you know, a one weekend event or something of that nature. Um, and so in particular, um, you all are helping us and that's great. And you guys are helping us brainstorm and add stuff and, and guidance and all that great stuff. But then uh, often what, what we, um, you know, professor types or, or agency types or whatever, we don't um, usually have time in our schedule to do some of the deeper dives to find the literature to actually help build the, the database of understanding and, and rigorous academic support for concept A, concept B. And that's where our uh, graduate student um, research assistants and in particular our undergraduate research assistants uh, that are helping us pull together uh, references, potential data sources, potential um, examples, that kind of stuff. So we kicked off at the end of May. Um, and uh, so the grayed out parts are stuff that we've already been through. Um, the only thing we've changed so far is we had a, a first draft. We originally asked for a first draft of each subgroup's components uh, 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 
at the start of the month. Obviously, we've pushed that back. So I've just tentatively moved that till next week. This is this is not a this is not a done. This is just so that we can we meaning Brenton, Rich, and I um, can start to just look a little more in depth in what people are doing, so we can um, provide more um, feedback. Um, we've targeted uh, uh, middle well originally early September, now middle September for your um, re revised uh, subgroup components, and um, we will then theoretically roll into our workshop, which we asked folks to reserve uh, a couple months ago, September 27th. We'll talk about whether that's still a realistic date or if we want to push that back slightly for our face-to-face -face in Oxnard.